So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remote play your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 on any TV in your house using a Android TV box. And in particular, in this video, I'm going to be using the Strong Leap S1 official Android TV box OS running software. And if you want to know more about this Android TV box, I'll leave the link to my video in the description below, as well as in the top right hand corner on the i. And it's a good Android box, so if you want to check out what else it can do, you can see the full video for that. So what do you want to do on your Android TV box? It can be any Android TV box, it doesn't have to be the one I've shown. It's go to the Google Play Store. Once you're there, you want to go to the search feature at the top right hand corner of the Play Store. And we want to search for the PS Remote Play app, which is the official Remote Play app from Sony. So here I'm just going to search PS. Well, I've made a mistake as I've got QPS, not Queen's Parks Rangers if you're from the UK. But let's search that properly. PS. And it comes up with the recommendation there, PS Remote Play for TV. That's the app that we're looking for. So once we find the application, we want to hit install and let that process complete on our app. Make sure it's the official uh, app from the PlayStation Mobile Incorporated. And we're going to install that on onto our Android TV box. And once that's installed onto our Android TV box, we can then, of course, open the application. And you're greeted with the welcome to PS Remote Play splash screen. And we need to sign into the PlayStation Network. So here we're going to have to sign in. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we have PlayStation Remote Play enabled on our PlayStation 5. So let's go and do that before we sign in using the QR code that's displayed on the TV. So on our PlayStation 5, we want to make sure that Remote Play is set up. And the way you do that is you go over to Settings. And once there, we want to go down to System. And then we want to scroll down until we see Remote Play. So it's just below Date and Time. And we want to enable Remote Play. And that is the step that's necessary before we carry on with PS Remote Play on our Android TV box. Now back to our Android TV box, we can hit sign in to PlayStation Network and we're going to need the mobile app on our phone to be able to sign in. So you're greeted with a QR code, so we need to head over to our mobile phone to be able to scan this app and sign in. So on the PlayStation app, you need to go to settings and then you need to scroll down until you see scan QR code, hit scan QR code, enable camera access and then we are going to scan the QR code to sign in. And just like that, it says, do you want to sign in on the device? And of course, we're going to hit approve on our phone. And that should be all that's needed with your phone. And as you can see, it is now signing us in to remote play on PlayStation 5. Now, it's going to ask you a few questions here when it comes to data and privacy so you want to either confirm and continue if you want to send the data or you want to go down to modify settings if of course you want to change what kind of data you do share with Sony and PlayStation so I'm going to go to modify settings it's on default full but we're going to go to limited data sharing and we're going to hit confirm and continue then select the controller that you want to link up with your device of course you can link up with the PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller or you can link up with the DualSense a controller for the PlayStation 5. Of course, we want to use the PlayStation 5 here, so we're going to go with the DualSense. And then it's greeted with the pairing, and you want to follow the on screen instructions to pair your PlayStation 5. So, pairing is straightforward. You want to hold down the create and PlayStation button at the same time. This should turn your controller on and also put it into the flashing pairing mode. That's when you know it's pairing. 
Then you want to hit go to settings and this will bring up the settings for your Android TV box. You want to scroll down to remotes and accessories and then we want to add an accessory. So we want to click add an accessory and then the box is going to search for our PlayStation 5 controller and it should pop up here on the menu anytime soon. And here we can see the DualSense wireless controller has showed up so we want to press OK in that let it pair and our accessory has been added in this case it's the playstation 5 controller we want to hit pair and that is now paired to our android tv box so we want to go back now to the playstation remote play app and we want to select which console we want to sign into or connect to and we want to do the playstation 5 and as you can see with the playstation 5 wirelessly connected now to the android tv box everything is working so we're going to hit playstation 5 and it's going to remind you at this stage if you haven't already done the step to enable remote play in playstation 5 we've already done that so we're going to hit ok and continue with this process of signing in to the playstation 5 and a key thing to note is your playstation 5 and your android tv box must be connected to the same internet network for able to this to work so what happens is it's searching the internet within your house for your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 if you've chosen to connect to that and it will remotely connect to the Android TV box. And the process is very quick, it took less than two minutes to connect to my PlayStation 5 remotely through my Android TV box and as you can see I'm greeted with the home screen of the PlayStation 5 and I can easily use my PlayStation 5 to control the menu and as you can see I'm pressing the thumbstick here and it's moving pretty easily if I press the d-pad buttons it's moving pretty quickly I'd say there's very minimal lag um, input lag at all so it's pretty good for gaming so yeah let's boot up a game and see how that performs here with remote play So let's play this game remotely on our PlayStation 5 via Android TV and another TV in our house. And as you can see, I'm playing the game here. I'm using the analog stick to control the car here. And it is very responsive indeed as well. There's very little uh, input latency or lag if you want to say that word and that of course will depend on your internet connection in the house and how you've got it connected. I'm using Ethernet so it's a, a wired connection within my house. If you're using Wi-Fi that may depend on the strength of your Wi-Fi of how good that is. But as you can see it is pretty responsive. It's a little bit difficult for me to play this game behind a camera so I'm looking through the camera screen while playing this game so not the best gameplay from my end but as you can see the controls are very responsive in now when you press the PlayStation button on the controller you are greeted with a different menu than normal you can go straight to the control center which is what normally would happen or you can go straight to the home screen or you can disconnect remote play altogether if you go to the home screen you can also remotely turn off your PlayStation 5 as well so I'm just going to go to the home screen and that is it that is how you remote play your PlayStation 5 on any TV in your house using Android TV and the remote play PlayStation app now make sure you like comment on this video if you've got any questions and subscribe to our channel to see more content coming right here on RME TV.